Murphy retrograde already messing with us. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <sighs> greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm going to give y'all a few seconds to chime in because I know I'm doing this kind of impromptu, but I wanted to get this video done. Um, I promised yesterday for the people who came on live, I promised that I would come on today and do how this full moon actually affects each sign, each zodiac sign. So if you see me glance into the side, it's because I'm trying to look at my notes while I'm going through. Thank you, beloved. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I do this for y'all. I do this for y'all. Uh, or whatnot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace. Shoe freak. Hey, honey. My skin is everything. It's getting there. Just daggone. Pregnancy had my skin looking crazy. <laughs> my hormones is everywhere. Almost as every day. Hi, Bone Whiskey. All right. So I'm going to just jump into this. So this is this live is really for um, if you follow the moon phases or if you're interested in anything dealing with astrology, this is what this is for. Um, Tuesday, just FYI, on Tuesday, I will start asking, doing my Q&A. So if you have questions about certain health issues or certain um, dynamics, um, you can ask on that day. This is a, I don't sell this product, but I did want to show this product. I always have people asking me about a good um, supplement. Um, the only supplements that I use is actually by Juice Plus. And the reason I like theirs is because it's actual food. Um, in their capsules, you got to take a good amount. I think it's like eight that I take all day, but they're really, really good. Like it's been my favorite supplement thus far, just FYI, but we'll talk about that more on Tuesday. All right. So we have a full moon coming up, um, tomorrow and the full moon is in the sign of Leo. Um, now my Leo babies, you might feel like this make us special because I'm a Leo too. But this full moon in Leo might have you feeling a little more emotional, a little more off kilter. You have to learn how to use more of your logical side, use more of your rational side and take a deep breath. Make sure that my Leo babies, um, while this moon energy is at its height, that you really just take a time, the time to really step back and say, what is this cycle doing? Um, what is it showing to me? What is it revealing for me? So you can actually use the energy um, to better yourself. Because that's what it's all about. How are we bettering ourselves? Okay. So I'm going to run through these signs <clears throat> real quick. Um, I might go ahead and create a post off of my notes so I can repost it. Or I might see if I can find somebody who got like a really good post for each sign. So y'all can go back and not only listen to this, but look at the post as well. So Aries, this is for my Aries. If you are an Aries um, rising or an Aries sun sign, um, a lot of people don't know the difference. I don't know how to break that down without, you know, just being a class or whatever. But uh, hold on, let me change this real quick. So I don't know how to like break it down real quick, but Aries is like, Let's say if it was your sun sign, sun sign is what most of y'all know, what you were born under. So the sun sign is what you always know. Everybody like, oh, I'm a Leo, I'm a whatever, da, da, da. Um, your rising sign is normally what is in a certain position when you're born. So it has more influence over your personality, um, the way you present yourself to the world. So even though you might be like me, a Leo, I have a Libra rising. I act more like a Libra than I do. And they're kind of similar. But I act more like a Libra than I do a Leo. When I used to tell people I was a Leo, they was like, you do not act like a Leo. Okay, so we're going to start with Aries. All my Aries babies, if you are a Aries sun sign or a rising sign, this is the time for you to get your new boo. For this, so this is my single Aries. Anybody who is single and if you are an Aries sun sign or a rising sign, 
this is a time where it's, it's great for y'all to get out and date. Um, this will be a time for you to actually have those love connections, um, do things that are more social um, in, in aspect. This is a great social environment for you. Um, it's also a great time for you to start one business venture. This is going to be a time where you're going to feel the energy be really heightened for you. Peace, beloved. Okay. So if you're Aries, the energy is going to be really heightened. It's going to be a time frame where if you got some stuff that you haven't finished, sun sign and only uh, rising. Um, if you have, you got stuff that you haven't finished, if you got projects that you've been wanting to start, this is the time. Okay. This is the time to go ahead and work in that energy. This is the time for you to go ahead and utilize um, what's going on with the cosmos in order to help you get the maximum benefit. So if you're single, get out there and mingle. If you got some business or some new projects you want to start on, this is a great time for y'all as well. My Taurus babies. Woo. Y'all should have a lot of, uh, y'all always about making money. <laughs> My Taurus, baby, this is going to be a time frame for y'all as well. So a lot of signs y'all are going to have like opportunities come your way. A lot of the signs um, you'll have um, not only opportunities coming your way, but just new ventures that you could actually get off the ground and it will have more momentum at this moment in time than you starting it at a different time frame. So the tourists, y'all are getting ready to have people that really come to your doorstep and want to present you an opportunity to do something different or something new. Okay, so you have to be in a space where you're very clear about what is your intentions, what are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your desires? What do you want to see come into fruition? If you have a real clear ideal of what that is for you, this would be a great time for you to start initiating those projects as well um, and being prepared. Okay. Being prepared is really, really key for my Taurus babies at this moment in time. The reason I say that, because I promise you, this will be the time frame where you'll have this angel investor that pops up out of the blue and want to invest in something you're doing. Do you have your business plan? Do you have the things that you need that if somebody said, I want to give you a million dollars, do you have something to actually Put the plans in place. Put your dreams in motion. All right. So this is a great time for you to do that. Y'all are also a lucky one. So if you got some single tourist babies, this is a good time that you'll probably meet somebody. Um, you'll start to, people will be more attracted to you. You have this magnetism at this moment in time. So this is a great time for y'all to get out and socialize as well. Now my Gemini's. This is y'all's moment in the sun. Out of all the signs, my Gemini babies, this is going to be your moment in the sun. This is like, it's your full moon. For real. For real, for real. <laughs> like, the Gemini energy for y'all, this is going to be a time frame. <clears throat> I already did Aries. Um, my Gemini babies, this is going to be a time frame where, honestly, you can... Like everything you touch turn to gold. <laughs> everything you touch right now turn to gold. Um, career wise, you're gonna have like raises, money coming your way. This is an abundant time frame for you. Okay. Gemini. Gemini moon, like Gemini rising or Gemini sun. This will be a great time where like things that you've been working hard at, okay. Things you've been working hard at. This is getting ready to be a time frame where you're going to be recognized for your work. Okay. For your efforts. Not only in business, but also in your personal life. All right. Cancers. In Vedic astrology, I'm a cancer. So, I normally don't like y'all. Even though my best friend is a cancer, but I normally don't like y'all. <laughs> y'all too emotional. Okay. So, my cancers. This is a great opportunity for you to redesign your life. Okay, so this is a great time for you to really implement change. Um, and when I say change, that means like if you want to change careers, this will be a good time for y'all to start doing that. If you want to 
a lot of y'all been going through a lot. My cancer babies, y'all went through a lot last year. Y'all started seeing people for who they really were. You started like actually seeing things from a perspective um, where the veil was lifted. And because the veil is lifted for you, you're actually in a space where you're starting to reevaluate who really serves your life and who doesn't. Okay. Who really serves your life and who doesn't. Okay. So now you're in this space where it's like, that shit wasn't working. Excuse my language if y'all got kids. Um, <laughs> that wasn't working no more. Okay? That ain't working. So now, now, I need to create a new plan and a new direction in order for me to execute. This is the time for y'all to do this. So y'all really need to sit down and say, I release any blockages that are, um, I've experienced before. But now I have a new plan, a new ideal, a new vision on which direction I'm going. Okay? So this is a great time for y'all to switch up the game. Y'all need to switch up the game. You're going to also another one that this is going to be the time frame where y'all start meeting new people. And most of the signs, this is getting ready to be Leo is a very social energy. So it's going to be a great time for a lot of the signs to get out and just mingle and meet new people. My Leo babies, boy, we've been having it. They've been on us. The universe had their foot on their neck. Listen. This is a time for my Leos in particular, even though the moon is in our sign, even though this moon is in our sign, this is a time frame where we really want to just sit still. You want to sit still. You really want to be very rational. Okay. You want to breathe through stuff. Somebody might trigger you. Don't let them trigger you. When things are not going your way, don't let it get the best of you. Okay. Make sure that you're looking at it from a very deep, um, I don't want to say deep perspective, but a different, like a, a retrospect. You want to kind of go inward and look at it like, okay, how can I change this? How can I look at this differently? How can I look, put a positive spin? That's exactly what I'm looking for. How can I put a positive spin on the things that are happening? Not allowing things to pull you in emotionally. Peace, beloved. Peace, everyone that came in. All right, so that's my Leos. Um, this is also a time to ask for help. Because I know if you like me, I don't like to ask for help. <laughs> I will sit there and try to figure it all out by myself. No, I'm not asking for no help. I'm not asking for no help. Okay. But um, this is definitely a time frame where you want to believe. Like kind of be in a space where if you need help and you need someone to talk to, this is definitely the time frame for you to do it. All right. Making connections with like new people or people that's like more like minded. OK, it's going to be key for my Leos. Virgos. So Virgos. Mm. Y'all gonna feel like there's just opportunities coming from every direction. Y'all pop in this season. This is going to be a time frame where you're going to feel like everything is coming at you at one time. But y'all know y'all are real particular. Y'all are real particular, okay? Um, you want to make sure that um, you're leaving your old habits back behind and you're actually starting new um, behavior, new patterns. Don't be so structured. And I know that is so hard for my Virgos, but don't be so structured right now. Don't um, be so critical on everything because if you actually get a little bit more fluid at this time you'll start to see how things will flow a little easier for you and i know that's hard um uh, father kosh let me see what did you ask baby i'm sorry how can you cure your bad breath um there's a couple of things chlorophyll is really good so chlorophyll foods that have chlorophyll in it um cucumbers are really good you want to really take the time to see Number one, dental wise, um, make sure that you have really great dental hygiene, not just brushing um, like a lot. Uh, I think Alfonso just said, oh, hey, Jay. <laughs> he just said, you know, scrubbing the tongue, changing your toothpaste, um, making sure you floss. But you also want to make sure that the foods that you're putting in your body, okay, the foods you're putting in your body is going to produce a scent that smells better okay so chlorophyll is your number one thing when you no matter any type of body odor that you might have whether it's um through sweat or orally chlorophyll is your number one thing 
you want to make sure you're taking enough chlorophyll so your mouth will smell good. Eating um, actual mint leaves. So not just like mint, the gum. No, you want the real leaf. So the real plant, eating mint, um, actually helps as well too. And just like AJ said, detox. Because what is in your system that's rotting? That's what you want to identify. What you what are you rotting from on the inside? Y'all don't get me off track. Y'all gonna have me in these sidebars trying to uh, answer these questions. How do you get rid of anxiety and retrain your mind? Yeah, that's a whole nother thing, boo. Send me that question on Tuesday because I can break that down. I, I can focus more on that. Okay, so what did we finish? That was Virgos. Virgos is about breaking your routine, doing something new, not being so structured, <laughs> not being so anal. Libra. Hey, babe. Okay, so my Libra babies. This is going to be a time that we are more focused. I'm a Libra rising. So we are more focused on family and friends and how much we care. So this is a time for y'all to explain how much you love your people. This is going to be a time where you say give people their roses while they're living. Libras, you want to give your friends, the people that you care about. You want to give them their roses and their flowers um, while they're living, okay? This is going to be a time that you really want to take the time to go that friend that you haven't ate lunch with. Go eat lunch with them. Um, if you haven't seen your parents, go lay in love and hug on your parents. Um, this is also a great time for you to start new projects that you've been thinking about doing. It will be a really great time for you to work on those as well. Okay, babe? Those as well. Scorpios. Ooh. I wrote a lot for y'all. We ain't, we ain't going to do all of this. Let me skim through this real quick. Um, this is going to be a time for my Scorpio babies that um, you really want to. What's the best way I can say it? Scorpios, this is about self. Your sense of self. This is going to be a time that you want to empower who you are. Know who you are. Actually show who you are from a heightened level okay um be very focused be very intentional in this time frame um see where there's a way out of no way being very inventive and creative um also the same thing with with love you want to actually be in a space that you're receptive to the type of people that will come your way the type of energy that will come your way you are also in a Y'all got to think Leo moon is really about the heart. It's connected to the heart. Leos are connected to a heart space. Thank you, baby. Um, and because we're connected from a heart space, we tend to love, even though y'all try to give us a bad rap. We love very hard. We love very passionately. So it's going to bring a lot of passion and, and love and matters of the heart in your life right now. Okay, so Scorpios, definitely being in a space where you're thinking about what do I need to do? How can I heighten who I am and what actually works for me? Y'all, if I don't, what is EFT? That's like um, pressure point. So it's your meridian points. So I can help you release emotions or I can help you release um, mindset, ways of thinking um, through your meridians. It's energy portals. That's what it is. Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius. Okay. Um, this is going to be a time frame where you start seeing a shift in your life. You'll start to see things are falling in alignment. Oh, this is crazy. Me and um, my mate was just talking about this. Um, you'll start to see things fall in alignment. Start. Things are going to start feeling like they're going the right direction. And this is a great space to be in. Because my Sagittarius, y'all been going through it a lot lately too. And because y'all been going through it a lot, this is a time frame where you want to just relax. Brainstorm. Take in this energy. Actually see what is getting ready to benefit you. Stay in a very high vibrational space. A very highly, you know, 
I'm, I'm taking advantage of everything that the universe has to offer me or God or whatever it is that you believe in. Um, this is a time to be adventurous for y'all. Okay. This is the time. Oh, Billy, you try to get me into some real, you need to go to She Is Magic. We ain't on She Is Magic page. <laughs> I can't get into that right here. Um, this is a time for my Sagittarius that you really just want to be who you are. Um, y'all are naturally intellectual. So this is a great time for you to use your intellect. This is a great time for you to have fun um, and be the diverse person that you are. Okay, Sagittarius. It's a really great space for y'all. Um, this next 30 days for you. Hobbies would be really good for Sagittarius too, by the way. Um, if you have a hobby that you like to do, um, this is a great time for you to get into that. Billy trying to pull out the... They not ready for that, Billy. We can't talk about that on here. They not ready for that, that element for me. <laughs> I got a spoon feed, y'all. I'm going to spoon feed you. Capricorns. My babies. My daddy a Capricorn. Okay, so this is a time frame where you should start feeling like you got superpowers. Okay, this is a time frame where you should start feeling like you got superpowers. My my babies that are uh, Capricorns, you should start feeling more powerful, stronger. Um, just being in a space where you feel like you can't do no wrong. Okay, you should be able to navigate your journey. A whole different way things are going to be clear to you in this season right here that it wasn't clear before there's going to be a way that you move at this moment in time that it makes sense okay I knew Billy knew <laughs> that's why I was looking at him like she talking about uh, you better be careful he already know if he asking he know just by the way he asked I can get into it, but we ain't gonna do that. <laughs> um, Aquarius. Who did I miss, y'all? Did I miss somebody? Oh, okay, I got Aquarius and Pisces. I was like, did I miss somebody? Aquarius babies. Oh, and this is y'all season. Okay. Aquarius babies. This is y'all season. Um during this time, this is going to be, the full moon is actually in y'all house of relationships. Um, so when it comes to matters of the heart, matters of love, um, matters of what it is that you might fear from relationships, but um, also what you're romanticizing about relationships, be very mindful of what you're seeing relationships as start healing wounds this is a great moon for y'all to heal what y'all have went through in the past okay in order for you to make sure that if you are in a current relationship that you're not holding baggage or energy towards that but you also want to make sure that when you're getting into new relationships that you're being in a certain space in order for you to like really capitalize on that as well okay babe this is going to be a time frame where like either you getting ready to step out the box and be dating because you're ready and you feeling like you're on the right side and you kind of understand what you want from relationships. But it's also the time frame where, you know, if you are already in a relationship, um, you can make it better. It's an expansion for you. Pisces, last but not least. Y'all working me today. Okay, Pisces. So... I'm going to need y'all to be frugal. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. This is going to be a time frame where you need to pay attention to how y'all spending your money. Okay? Spending your money. Don't overly spend. Budget. Okay? Do not get... You're going to be wanting to make impulse decisions. Don't do it. Don't let this Leo moon fool you. All right? Don't let this Leo moon fool you. This Leo moon will have you in your feelings in another month because you're not overspent. You don't spend some money that you ain't have. Okay. Be in a space that you're being very frugal. Be in a space that you're really taking the time to understand. Okay, I can spend money here. No, I can't spend money. You gotta spend it already. Uh-uh, boo. <laughs> now you gotta hustle. You, gotta, you better hustle. Okay. 
Um, this is also a time frame where you are going to want to be connected to, to your heritage, to your culture. So start looking into that. Thank you, beloved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh, you're in Ghana. I used to get a lot of um, stuff from Ghana. Um, let me not get distracted. Y'all have me all over left. Um, great time for y'all also, Pisces, to really start looking at are you happy at where you're at? Okay. Are you happy in the present space that you are? And if not, what can you do? What can you do to actually um, make this life better? You are the creator. You are a co-creator with this life that you have and this journey that y'all have at this moment in time. Make sure you're taking full advantage of it. And I feel like that's for everybody, okay? Make sure you're taking um, advantage of what this really um, can represent for you, what this shift can represent for you. Y'all want, let me go back. Y'all, there's a lot of cancers on here. Y'all emotional asses. <laughs> let me go back. Cancers, y'all another one that y'all need to watch how y'all spending. Watch how you, you spending your money. Be very um con conscious. Be very conscious of how y'all are spending money right now, okay? Um, so cancers, this is a time frame that if you want to switch your jobs, if you need to switch your routine, if you actually want to take steps towards important things that you need to do in your life, um, this will be a great time. But you also know that you are not supposed to be doing the same. You can't do the same thing and get a better result. Okay. Cancers, don't think that this year is about you doing the same thing to get a better result. You got to switch it up. That's the biggest thing that I want y'all to take away with this move. Switch up your routine. Switch up how you see things. Switch up how y'all do stuff. Be ready for these new opportunities. If you're single, definitely pay attention. You might have somebody new coming in your life right now. Don't be afraid to like go new places. Don't be afraid to like get out. Okay. I am saving this live. So it'll not only save on here, y'all. Um, it'll also save. I'll put it on my YouTube after I finish. So once it's saved on here, I'll have it on my YouTube. I'll make sure that I put it on both pages. She is magic, and I'll put it on the Healing Chamber YouTube as well. All right. So y'all can go back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make a post tonight. Okay. I'll make a post tonight and put all of it together. So Y'all can go back and look at it. Just give me a chance to get it all. If I can't, I'm going to see if I can find one that kind of got a snapshot of what I just did. Yes, that planet that hit Venus. Whew. Don't let y'all, don't let this Venus get y'all in trouble. Billy just reminded me, don't let Venus get you in trouble. <laughs> Venus, I had y'all acting frisky. Venus got Venus produce a lot of babies. That's why a lot of babies get uh, produced at this month. A lot of babies come into fruition in February. I'm just saying. Don't let Venus get y'all in trouble. <laughs> Unless you want to get in trouble. Don't let Venus get you in trouble. Venus will have y'all feeling a little frisky. It's going to be a lot of one night stands that's happening. I'm just saying. Venus will have y'all doing some strange things. That you don't normally do. It'll have you feeling um, the energy. And feeling people a little bit more. And you have to understand. A lot of times. Um, from a, When you're from a healed space. Or from a, more of a holistic space. Um, spirit. Fall in love with spirit before anything else. Outside of anything. That anybody might be going through. Spirit connects to spirit first. So I'll fall in love with your higher self. Before I fall in love with you. So you have to pay attention to that, especially with this Venus energy. I'm just saying she's going to have a lot of y'all in trouble. <laughs> she's going to have a lot of y'all in trouble. Um, I am open to other topics because I am trying to eventually merge my She Is Magic page to the Healing Chamber page. That way I can give everybody the same amount of attention. I am a little biased. I have been building my She Is Magic page for a while and... I'm, I'm a lot more spiritual 
I, that's more connected to who I am um, than the other stuff. Um, but I do want to make sure that I'm giving both platforms my time and my energy. Um, so if y'all have topics that y'all want to talk about, like Billy brought up a couple of things. Um, if you have topics that y'all want to talk about, make sure you inbox me. And when I get to them, I try my best to like really just write it down. So on those Tuesday talks, we can actually get into those type of topics as well. I'm trying to make this page a little bit more diverse besides just the actual healing as far as food. Um, what else was something on my mind? Oh, I had made a post about deficiencies. Don't pay attention to the food on there because some of that food I would not eat. I'm not eating no oh, sardines for iron. I'm just saying. <laughs> some of that food I ain't get ready to eat. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's like mercury retrograde. I will be having a talk about mercury retrograde and how it affects. Um, and just even planets in retrograde in general. Okay. A lot of times people look at when a planet goes in retrograde, everybody gets scary. Y'all buy into the hype of what social media be producing. And it's not that. Retrogrades are y'all friend and make you go inward. That is a great time for you to go into retrospect. It's retro re. You reevaluate. You re go over. Retrograde is amazing for you and your spirit and your growth. Yes, about third eye, I'll do that too. Okay. So I'm going to write this down so I don't forget. I just don't know how deep to go on this page because with the Healing Chamber family, I haven't um, gotten to know y'all as personal as I know my She Is Magic family. My She Is Magic family, we like a family for real. Like, that's my tribe. Um, the Healing Chamber Y'all are my tribe too, but from a different perspective. So I need to take more time to get to know y'all to see what type of topics y'all really want to get into. I try to keep it real streamlined for y'all because I don't want nobody coming out here talking about I'm going to hell because <laughs> they're not going to like my response. So we had third eye retrogrades because we got a mercury retrograde coming up. That I think will really be good for a lot of us. Y'all that's still holding on to stuff that ain't serving y'all. This retrograde getting ready to come up. Synchronicity. That's a nice one. That's a good one. Numerology and synchronicity. Let me find out that y'all actually want to talk about some real stuff. Okay. Woke and high vibrational females are so attractive. Aw, y'all are real females out of shit. <laughs> we appreciate that. We appreciate that. You just got to make sure they woke, woke, or they wokeish. That's my new thing. They woke, woke. They, is it, are we really conscious um, or are we unconscious? A lot of people claim the title of being um, conscious or aware or, you know, woke and they're still making uh, unconscious decisions they're still operating in a very unconscious um, state of mind because of a lot of different dynamics i ain't gonna get into that y'all i'm not going left with y'all today i'm gonna be good today all right all right so i'll save this you can go back and catch your sign it started with aries and it ended with pisces um i'll be back on here at seven PM. What time is it? I'll be back on here at 7 p.m. If you pay for a reading, um, if you pay for a full moon reading, um, I'll be back on at 7 p.m. That is, I believe, like maybe two more spots left. I got to look. It might be two more spots left um, if you do want a reading for this evening for the, the live um, chat. I'm going to put astrology. What about natal charts? Y'all, are y'all, y'all giving me hope. You're giving me hope. <laughs> y'all are giving me hope with some of these um, answers. Hey, Pooh. Anybody that's on here, if you have not checked out, we are organic. We are organic. Um, 
If y'all have not um, checked him out, please go check him out. He has some amazing teas and herbs that you can that are really, really great for your body. Um, yeah, check them out. And they always got really, really funny stories. I always be laughing at your lives. Your lives is funny. <laughs> We appreciate CBD oil. I've had a live on CBD oil. I can address that probably more in detail because I get a lot of people that ask me that. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm not a CBD oil fan. So if somebody feel like they're very well versed in CBD oil, uh, make sure you inbox me um, so I can have like a real discussion on it. I mean, I'm knowledgeable about it. I just want to see it from a different perspective because I feel like I, I haven't been sold on CBD oil. I'm not sold on it. So I don't know if it's something. I'm always, I'm, that's when I get in that conspiracy <laughs> mindset. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. Why don't I like it? Um, thank you, Billy. Um, I have a problem when the government per se heavily starts pushing a certain dynamic. So if y'all pay attention with CBD oil, um, all of a sudden it was on every block like the liquor store. That actually bothers me um i feel like we are not paying attention to certain details and i really want to understand like what all is in there um i know a little bit about it you know as far as like the health benefits or what they say the health benefits are but thank you Thank you, we are again. I'll be trying to tell them. I'll be like, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Like, stuff like that, I, mm -mm, I don't trust it. Especially with everybody on the bandwagon. It make me nervous. It made me so nervous. Because I feel like later on, you know, you got to look at it almost the same way when the kids started doing the electric cigarettes. I'll be looking at it like that. Remember, it was like almost that was the, the better option than them smoking tobacco. And then now you got all these kids popping up with lung, they lungs jacked up and dying and stuff. Like anytime they anytime they start promoting stuff and actually being on the bandwagon of something, I'll brain. I'll be like, no, nah, I ain't eating that. <laughs> That's why I'm nervous even with the vegetarian stuff, unless you're growing it. You know, I honestly feel like no matter what it is, period, unless you are growing it yourself so you can see um, how it's being treated, how it's being processed, unless you're doing it yourself, um, just be very mindful. Um, make sure that you do the research. Um, if not, make sure that your detox game is on point. Make sure that you are taking stuff like chlorophyll, um, like sea moss, like bladder rack, like burdock. Make sure that you're doing things that are going to cleanse stuff out of your system. Make sure. Drink a lot of water. I cannot express this enough. You should be drinking a gallon of water at least a day. Unless you like real skinny. Okay. Drink a lot of water. You can almost eat pretty much whatever you want to eat, honestly, if you drink a lot of water. Okay, because you got to flush this out. The whole key is that whatever you put in your body, you want to make sure you flush it out. Okay, yes, yeah, sour sop. Like you want to make sure you, you flush it out. All right. Hold on, let me go back. Whoa, Jada going in. He giving all he, he said. He loved him some, some powerful women because he going in. I'm um, trying to go back and make sure I didn't catch. Mm. How to align chakras. Okay, I got you. That's a good topic. 
Okay, y'all giving me something to work with. So now I got like a lot. And like I said, if you know, if y'all think of something that y'all really want me to touch on that I don't really post a lot about, I'm just trying to fill it out now that I'm trying to merge everything together because it's too much work and I'm not going to be able to keep up. Um, I really need to hire a team. <laughs> I really need to hire a team. Um, I want to make sure that I'm addressing topics that actually um, are going to help on all aspects. Because the reason I started the Healing Chamber real quick before I get off, um, I started it so we can understand that this is a holistic okay, journey. And when we say holistic, holistic means everything, how we think. OK, how we are processing our emotions. So it's a mental, emotional, spiritual. OK, all of this play a part on whether or not you're going to live a healthy life or you're going to have a jacked up life. Period. Whether you're going to have a healthy life or a jacked up life, we have to deal with it on all levels and stop feeling like once again, I don't like the ideology of even with our holistic healers, they've been treating symptoms Stop treating symptoms. We got to get to the root of the problem. If that person is blood, like they blood pressure high, why is the blood pressure high? Are you even finding out what's going on in their environment? What's going on in their mindset? How are they thinking? What is creating the pressure to actually go high? Because that's not a normal effect of the body. Our bodies heal themselves. Our bodies actually respond to whatever environment we set for it. So if you're setting a toxic environment for it, then guess what? You're going to get a toxic response. All right. All right. I'm just trying to go back through how to get rid of hiccups using natural herbs. What kind of hiccups, boo? Like, you got a permanent hiccup? <laughs> What's going on? How do I feel about rice? Um, Unless it's wild rice or like a black rice, I don't eat it. Every once in a while, if I'm having a cheat day, like today, I had some cilantro rice, but I'm pregnant. That's my past. <laughs> my past right now, I'll be like, mm -mm, I'm pregnant. Let me eat what I want to eat. Y'all ain't getting ready to tell me what to eat. <laughs> Um, but overall with rice, I don't feel, um, you don't want to eat white rice. You shouldn't even eat brown rice. Neither one of those rices are good for you. Um, if you're going to eat it like, um, wild rice, black rice is really good for you. Autoimmune disease. Thank you. We in the last lap, y'all. So I might go silent in like closer to the end of March. Okay, so closer to March. I'm gonna try to figure out how to keep, you know, the page going. I might not just I might have somebody that worked the um page for me um more. But I have my my new mini me will be here next month. He will be here. The king will be here. <laughs> okay. Optimal wellness. I need to come on your page. Am I following you? I need to come on your page. Where can you order? What type of crystals? Like the crystals, like stone crystals, like crystals like these, or like um, menthol crystals. Thank you. I appreciate that. My chat going so fast, I can't catch all the questions. I'm sorry. Your colleague served time in the military and now has hiccups and he can't get rid of them. He went to the doctor, but nothing works. So, actually, I am cocktail. If you get him to inbox me, if he's willing to do that, um, I would just need a little more detail. Because it, it, it stemmed from something that's not a natural effect. That's not a natural effect. So, we want to make sure... Thank you. Thank y'all for saying congratulations on my, my, my bambino. Even on that tip, like my women who are having fertility issues, listen, beloved, do not feel like age is, a, is an issue. I'm 43. Let's count the numbers. I'm 43 and I'm having a baby and I, my baby is healthy. 
I have no problem conceiving children. Uh, my first look, my ovaries work real good. My eggs work real good. <laughs> they work too good. Um, crystals. Uh, my go-to for crystals is actually the Aunt Goddess. If y'all look her up, her page is the Aunt Goddess. The Aunt Goddess. So if you look up the Aunt Goddess, um. She sells just about every crystal you can think of. And I trust her, her source. Because sometimes y'all be getting plastic crystals. Yes, I'm 43, boo. I'm old. I'm, I'm, I'm knocking on 50. I'm knocking on 50. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Knocking on 50. I need some crystals. Help you heal and manifest. Okay, Giovinci. Um, Giovinci. The thing about crystals, and I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off. I keep saying that. Because I don't want to get this too off topic. This um, actual post. Um, but y'all got to think. When we have... It's almost like food or anything else. Okay? So crystals, sage... Um, candles, whatever. These are tools, okay? They're only tools. The real power is in you. The real power is your own connection, okay? Your own connection. So you want to be in a space, beloved, that you actually pay attention to not being dependent on this, not putting so much power in that this crystal um, can actually cleanse and purge any toxic in, things in you, okay? You want to understand that you have the power, okay? <clears throat> we are organic. I'll, you know what? I'm going to post a post on her. I'll put a post up after this because everybody was asking me about the other crystal, and I think she got that too. But you have to think about that we actually hold the power we are the battery behind this so this crystal can't do what people say it can do without me so understand who you are and who you connected to whose you are and whose you are <laughs> okay um be very in a you know really in a mindset that um if you want to use something don't be so dependent on this. I'm going to say that. And I'll leave it there. But I will do some videos on that. Like I've done it on my other page. But I will do some on this page as well. Some live chats or one. Um, great crystals to have. Um, I have a good amount of crystals. But I'm not. And I do crystal healing. But I do understand my own personal power. I understand the personal power that the people that I work with, if I want to do crystal healing on them, I can actually use your energy because it's all energy at the end of the day. Oh, I'm sorry, boo. What did I, what I miss? Bria, what I miss? I'm sorry. What you asked me? She's like, I'm mad you ain't answer my question. What you asked me, baby? I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Your question, the last question. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. So Giovinci, a good thing that you could do if you're trying to heal and manifest, um, sound alchemy is really good. So like playing music that you love, like what's that song that just make you like smile? Because all it is is about how do I change the frequency that's going on in my body? Most of the time you're not manifesting or you're not healing the body. And then the reason that you're not is because your frequency and your vibrations are really, really low. Your energy is really, really low. So you want to try to do things like sound alchemy. Um, you want to do things like aromatherapy to trigger these emotions, to trigger your senses to get higher. You should, you don't, y'all don't realize how powerful you are. You're so powerful that you really could just walk in the room and just clap your hands and boom, you change everything. Like, that just gave me a shock through my whole body. You should be understand how powerful you are. You don't need none of the other stuff. It's great. They look good. It serves a purpose. It triggers us. It tricks us into believing into our, you know, our own selves. I asked about the CBD. 
and the neutral burst. How do I feel about them? Um, I said, see, I did answer that. I didn't ask, answer the neutral burst. Um, I, I don't like when stuff have a lot of stuff in it, Bria. Okay. I don't like when, um, I feel like you have to use things that are so pure. Okay. So I, I'm really about simplicity. Um, do can you use it? Yeah. But I'm not really sure about the Nutriburst. I haven't seen all the ingredients in it yet. My girlfriend, one of my close girlfriends sells all of that stuff too. So you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have her on here. I'm going to see if she's free next week and I'll do a live with her. And so she could tell us about, you know, her perspective because she sells it. She sells all of that stuff. I just personally am more of like a nature girl. Like if it's not all the way natural, I'm, I'm damn near that type of girl that I really want to just go pull it out my backyard. <laughs> I want to see the dirt on it <laughs> and everything. Um. Mm -mm. Like, I love, me and my father was fighting one day because he was trying to spray the uh, dandelions in the yard. And I'm like, you could chop them greens up and eat that in your salad. It's going to be a great cleanser. You can make tea. You over here messing up my herbs. <laughs> yeah, sound alchemy is amazing. It does amazing things for healing the body. People... Um, really underestimate how strong sound alchemy is. That's why I like you could be listening to love songs and then next thing you know, you missing your ex. Y'all be done text your ex. Mm. Next thing you know, you laid up. What do I suggest for high blood pressure? Um, my It just depends. I don't want to say. Black seed oil is really good for maintaining um, celery juice. Um, cucumbers, eating cucumbers, a lot of water content, um, fruits and vegetables, but it depends on what you, why do you have the high blood pressure? What is it stemming from? That's emotional. You're welcome. All right, boo. I'm out. I'm getting ready to log off of here. I love you guys. I'll be back on here at 7 to do the live readings. Um, If you want a live reading, um, just inbox me. All you have to do really is just cash app. I think I got like two more spaces to go. Um, I might just leave them open for when we actually go. Okay. I will post um the Aunt Goddess up. If you do have a, a business that is like healing based or organic based, um, inbox me. I don't mind helping um, promote what it is that y'all do long as I feel like the product is a really great product. Okay. Long as the product is a really great product. Star Child. Um, Star Child. Don't email me. Go on the front of my page. Email me um, instead of inboxing me. I don't know if you've inboxed me before, but email me. Um, I can help you with that with your mom there's a lot of foods and things that you can actually start incorporating in her diet okay there's a lot of stuff that you can incorporate in her diet all right y'all i love you guys i'll talk to you later peace